She's running. I am convinced of it. Hillary Clinton just can't help herself. The woman can't get off the stage and get on with her life. While most of the headlines coming out of her recent series of interviews given to The Guardian were about her ironic call for limited migration in Europe, she also delivered some interesting nuggets in regard to the American press and, of course, the demise of the Republican Party. She actually says that President Trump hasn't been held accountable enough to suit her. The Republican Party has collapsed in the face of Trump, she said. Clinton also criticized Trump's repeated attacks on the press, behavior she suggested had echoes of authoritarian and fascist political leaders who erode faith in facts and evidence. She said Trump has proved himself skilled at tweeting and insulting and dominating the news cycles and said he was too often left unchallenged by the press. I believe that where we are now in the political cycle is that the press does not know how to cover these candidates who are setting themselves on fire every day, who are masters of diversion and distraction she said. Criticizing the press is nothing new for Hillary Clinton. She's done it for as long as I can remember. Frankly, it's been standard procedure for any politician to criticize the press whenever the coverage isn't favorable. You will not be surprised to note, though, that when a Democrat like Hillary Clinton criticizes media outlets for less than vicious coverage of President Trump, there is radio silence from the virtue signaling left that is now so outraged that Trump criticizes the media's slanted reporting. Hillary is irritated that the news media haven't gotten smarter in their coverage of Trump. She even called out a network interview for omitting questions about an investigation into the Trump family empire and their tax returns. Gasp. I have a high regard for 60 Minutes and for Leslie Stahl who's a terrific journalist, Clinton said before noting there was not a single question about the New York Times story. So at some point, the press has to get smarter because that's basically how most voters get their information, she said, adding that often the quest for balance resulted in facts being relegated in favor of opinion. Hey, what happened to women supporting women? Hillary Clinton called Fox News superb propaganda and I must have missed the comeuppance she experienced from the other outlets as they rose to Fox News defense. How many times have we been told that an attack on one is an attack on all? Apparently, that only applies to everyone but Fox News. You watch Fox News, it's always, something terrible is about to happen, something terrible did happen, these people are doing all these awful things. It is totally divorced from reality but it is superb propaganda. I don't know the best way to puncture that. You have to hope that reality catches up with politics and entertainment at some point. Hillary's trashing of Fox is ironic, right? Isn't CNN, for example, often referred to as the Clinton Network News by conservatives who are disgusted with their overly favorable coverage of both Clintons? That's been happening since the days of Bill Clinton playing saxophone on the Arsenio Hall show. And, of course, Trump is a racist. It seems to me that Hillary would remember all the awards and recognition Trump used to get from leading black activists and their organizations back when he was a Democrat and gave them all money and publicity. If he is such a horrible human being why did she and Bill run in the same circles? Why did they court his campaign donations? The Clintons even attended Trump's wedding to Melania. Self-awareness is nowhere to be found in Hillary's interview. She also accused Trump of racism. This is a person who believes in very little but he does have visceral responses to what goes on in the world around him. He does have a strong streak of racism that goes back to his early years, she said. I include his anti-immigrant tirades because he characterizes immigrants in very racially derogatory ways, but he was Islamophobic, he was anti-women, he really had the whole package of bigotry that he was putting on offer to those who were intrigued and attracted to him. Bless her heart. She just can't accept that she lost the election to Donald Trump. She is really unable to get past it. Bitter is not a good look. This is why I think she will run for a third time. Heck, if Biden can, why not her? Neither of them seems to realize that their time has come and gone. Their name recognition will only carry them so far in 2020. The next generation is ready to push them aside.